And continuing coverage this morning, last week we told you about an outreach event happening in Sacramento for the city's Streets for People project. I'm told it aims to improve roads and conditions for people biking, walking, or rolling through Sacramento. So now they've used information gathered from the numerous outreach events and feedback to create a network that will guide future improvements to transportation infrastructure in Sacramento. They did community outreach throughout the city with a focus in North Sacramento, South Sacramento, and the Fruit Ridge Broadway areas. City staff learning what barriers people face getting to where they need to go. And Leslie Mancibo, senior transportation planner, tells me this is unique from other walking or biking plans. We're looking at this as a whole network that includes people biking, people walking, people even having to drive to do, go to a park and ride to get where they need to go. Um, we're all pedestrians at some point, right? We all need to get that last little uh, cross the street from the parking garage to the office. Um, so we really are considering um, everyone in this plan. And she says they can't address all the feedback in their plan, like ones that deal with the railroads or Caltrans, for example, but I'm told they do pass along all of that information. So Mancibo says they'll look at the network they've created and make improvements in segments they can then address. So I'm told their draft plan will be out for comment in the fall, so you can head to our links page to learn more about the Streets for People active transportation plan and sign up for the newsletter. And Mancibo says the plan is expected to be adopted by early 2025, and once it is, they can start looking for funding. Well...